Well, you probably know him from movies like Harold and Kumar or recognize him from his time working for the Obama administration. Well, now actor Cal Penn is hosting a new show on the Food Network. It's called Money Hungry. In the ultimate test of their palate, chefs, critics, and home cooks have to rely on their taste buds to help them win $50,000. I sat down with Cal to talk about the show, plus how often he's in his own kitchen these days. I trust my taste. I'm Cal Penn, host of Money Hungry, the first ever culinary show that puts the palates of chefs, recipe developers, and everyday Americans to the test. It's a brand new competitive food show on the Food Network that's called Money Hungry. Actor Cal Penn is the host. Cal, this looks competitive. Do you trust your taste? I trust my taste. That's right, you got it! <laughs> It is very competitive. So this is a food show based more on tasting than on, on uh, cooking, meaning our contestants are not competing against each other with a clock uh, in making the food, but they are in terms of tasting it. So all of our contestants are, um, you know, they're, they're cookbook writers, they're food critics. They have to tell me things like, what's the missing ingredient in a particular dish? Or has this piece of pasta been cooked for four minutes or 13 minutes? Um, and if they get all 15 right, they win $50,000. So a lot of rooting interest for them, but also a lot that we're learning by watching them taste the stuff and tell us what they're tasting. Cal, are you a foodie? Like when it comes time to dinner time in your household, are you the one in the kitchen whipping something up? A couple of years ago, I was asked to host, uh, or I was asked to be a contestant on an episode of Celebrity MasterChef. And I was like, whoa, 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 no way. Cooking in front of millions of people to win money for charity. I was like, the charity's gonna lose. Why would I do this? And then I thought, you know what? It's a fear of mine, let me do it. And I won my episode of, of Celebrity MasterChef and walked away with this obviously very um, ludicrous sense of entitlement. I was like, I won MasterChef. And everyone's like, no, you won one episode of Celebrity MasterChef, calm down. But it gave me the, it gave me the confidence to be a little more experimental with cooking and try different things out. Cal, I'm just going to list off part of your resume. You're a movie star. Now you're a TV show host. You were at one point a farmhand and even a member of a White House administration. When you're walking down the street and people say, hey, I recognize you from, where is it from? There was a woman at, at my bank when I went in once. She was probably in her mid-60s, gray hair. And I walked up to the window and her face lit up. And I thought maybe she watched Designated Survivor or House. And she started doing this and she goes, I'm a big Harold and Kumar fan. I was like, I never would have had any idea that you watched or even knew what Harold and Kumar was. It was such a nice thing, such a nice feeling. So what I, what I feel thankful for is the fans have given me a chance to work in so many different kind of projects that are so different from each other. And you, you really never know who watches what. And I, uh, since you gave me the opportunity, I just got to thank them for, for supporting me through all that because I've, I've loved every one of them. Are you money hungry?